The Devils traded Taylor Hall on Monday to the Arizona Coyotes, and all I could think of was a classic band with hit after hit. Well, there's a new band in town, and its name is Hall and Yotes. Oh, oh, here he comes. He's a shark eater. Hall flew overnight from New Jersey to be in the lineup for his new team against San Jose, and he scored 26 points in 30 career games against the Sharks. The Yotes entered Tuesday atop the Pacific Division despite losing three of their last five games, but ooh, child, things are going to get easier because Hall already has more points this season than any other Coyote. And Taylor, you, ooh, 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 could make their dreams come true either, you know, in goal or playing defense. And on this night, they were good in both ends. Lead slide, particularly at home, even on the road here, this was impressive. This Take a, a more hands-on approach with even someone like a Sergei Bobrovsky, who is their new goalie. It's gonna they also have the skill when you're talking about John Carlson, a defenseman. Suddenly he's one of their biggest offensive threats. What have you noticed about him on both sides of the ice? It's a way to help your center on the faceoff, right? But if you're the goalie, I mean, you're probably paying attention most to the center position and what's happening right there off the faceoff. So how do you play that? What's your strategy there? We could watch this 50 times over and it's not going to help because if you're right <laughs> now, he had no chance. I was watching this game live yesterday afternoon, I'll tell you, or early evening here on the East Coast, and I'll tell you what's weird about that is the way Brian Elliott was set up, he was set up anticipating the win, which they got, to your point. They win the draw clean. So he's like, okay, we've got this. All of a sudden, the puck goes from here to here. There was absolutely no, no chance for Brian Elliott to get from here, even to here. Mm. And there was no chance. The play happened so quickly. The draw comes back. It's one, okay, we've got this. Roslovich with a great deception. Skating across. He doesn't even tip off the pass. And he bumps it back to Ehlers, who snaps it. There's no way for Elliott to react. It was too much of a bang-bang play. No chance for him on that one. What I like about the play also is that Blake Wheeler puts his winger, Ehlers, in the shooting position. Right. That's old school. Yes. We don't see that as much That's anymore. True. That's that true. was back in the uh, late 70s, early yeah. 80s, when the centers would just stand and just move over a little bit. That's right. the confidence that Blake Wheeler has in the, his ability to win face-offs. Because when I took center, I never put a guy behind me. I'm like, right. help, please help. Yeah, just jump please in. step in and help yeah. get this puck. He's probably going to win it. I'm going to try to tie him up. It's, it's interesting how it's not only the center who has to get involved, but that was a executed... That, Faceoff was executed perfectly by the wingers uh, of Blake Wheeler. Just another example of uh, how hockey is a team game, and it takes everybody to help out, even on the faceoff. The game is a gift. It's time for Jamie's Herschelian Feet of the Night. The Herschelian Feet of the Night goes to Andrei Svechnikov, who did it again. What, you ask? Remember when he scored this awesome lacrosse-style goal back in October? We talked about this for weeks, and guess what? He had the nerve to try it a second time on Tuesday, and oh my goodness, he did it! Watch this, Connor Hellebuck just can't believe it. Neither can we, frankly. Before this season, nobody had ever scored a lacrosse-style goal in the NHL, and now we have two. Svechnikov has scored both. Real quick, Sarah Sivian, who covers the Canes, said the Hurricanes are blasting. Oops, I did it again. It's time for Jamie's Herschelian Feet of the Night. It's December, which means one thing for the Hershey Bears hockey team. It's teddy bear toss time. The annual tradition took place in Hershey, where they set another world record for most teddy bears collected at a hockey game. Last year, they also set the record at more than 34,000 teddy bears collected for charity. Now they've blown that number out of the water with a whopping 45,650 stuffed bears. And that one is probably worth about five or six at least, right? No, in all seriousness, this is so great. All of these bears are gonna go to children in the area and there's no better way to get into the holiday spirit than that. It's time for Jamie's Herschelian Feet of the Night. The Herschelian Feet of the Night goes out to the Carolina Hurricanes, who celebrated World Kindness Day by spreading some love to their NHL friends, tweeting something nice to every team in the NHL. Some of our favorites include the tweet to Montreal saying, More Stanley Cups than anyone. That's awesome. Also, we forgive you for the offer sheet thing. Clearly a reference to the Habs trying to get Sebastian Ajo with an offer sheet this past summer. They also told the Ducks that Mighty Ducks is one of the best movies of all time and said to the Lightning, hey there, weather buddy, we love your name. To the Blackhawks, deep dish pizza is delicious and you have awesome fans. And they even included the new Seattle team by saying, we are so excited for you to join the league. Pretty great, right? 
However, there is one noteworthy omission here. The Canes did not tweet anything to the Capitals, and this apparently goes back to the playoffs when these two met and had some Twitter beef with each other. So I guess it's like Mom always said, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Thanks so much for joining us here on On the Fly. For Billy Lindsay, I'm Jamie Hirsch, and we'll leave you now with the best from Wednesday.